let's see how we can install prime os android 11 in dual boot so visit this website and we need to click on the download button all the links will be in the description so check that out you will be redirected to this website and the download will start automatically now we need to uh, like find this uh, application called the partition create and uh, format and we will check our um, system partition the storage partition and for my it is gpt so this method is actually for the ufi bios i'm not sure if it works with the legacy bios or not but you can try because there is no instruction mentioned so now we are going to use this software called rufus to make a bootable pen drive so we will just locate our iso file that we downloaded and then in the partition scheme we will choose the gpt so now we'll hit the start button and it will format the pen drive and install the iso image the process will take some time and now we need to create partition to install the prime os so we'll search for the same application that we used earlier the partition tool and then we're going to right click on the d drive and shrink it and we need at least 20 gb of space so make anything um, similar or above that and then we will just right click and create a new volume for the unallocated space just click next next and then finish it will automatically assign a letter to it and you will have a new volume and then we will now proceed to the bios so we need to click uh, the bios key of the system that you have so you can see the image of all the bios key for different manufacturers and we'll boot in the, into the bios menu and here we need to select the boot device options so I, I can actually use my mouse in the bios menu many of the manufacturers you can't so you need to locate the boot device options and then select the pen drive after hitting the enter button you will see this option and you can select the prime os installation to proceed with the installation um, i should have gone with the prime os live version because you will see later in the video why i said that and here we need to select the partition that we created so we can locate it by the size and then we will format it as xt4 and then just uh, like click yes for every prompt that you get like it will create the efi grub and for dual boot and everything and the installation is fairly quick and now we have options to run prime os or reboot so we will go to reboot and it's gonna give us a fresh start So we can see the dual boot menu we can go to prime os or windows from this dual boot menu so now the prime os will start and the first boot will take um, some time this is the boot animation of the prime os so now it has booted and you can see that it has crashed that makes it clear that it is still in beta and not very stable uh, you need to put in your username and uh, time zone so i made a video about uh, bliss os android 11 as well and that was also uh, still in beta mode and i did not had a good experience with that it had a lot of app crashes and the screen recording also did not work out so i'm tapping on the app drawer and it is not responding it means the launcher must have crashed finally it opened and this is a very desktop like layout and you can see the launcher is crashing so this is not at all stable 
and for now but i can see that the performance is really good and if the bugs are fixed so it can be like a really good android as contender you can see the settings and the wi-fi i've connected and it's working very fine i've also added my google account so you can sign in with your google account and you can see it's running the android 11 So if I go into the gallery, um, there are no like thumbnails, or, but I have recorded, screen recorded some videos, uh, but it is not at all playable. And you can see if I try to play it, you can see this very, I don't know, some error interface and I don't know why it's happening. And when you try to forcefully play it or something, the whole UI crashes and I need to restart the system. So it happened to me twice. So I wasn't able to screen record and I when I tried to install an app it took ages to install the app so this VLC that I installed even through VLC I could not play the video and this is the game mode and you can see the keyboard mapping is still coming soon and I was trying to play survey surfers and I got this error message and this uh, weird interface so you can see the multi window is working and uh, I just took this screenshot because I couldn't screen record so yes that's now you understand why I uh, I should have gone with the live demo first before installing it because um, you need to be sure that it will work on you for my I have AMD chip the Ryzen 5 2500U and it's not working for me so I would not recommend it but uh, you can go ahead and try it so I hope you like this video and uh, uh, do not forget to subscribe, like and I'll see you in the next one.